sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine, folks get down in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. But it used to be all in the tail of steam. See the man who I work for now, he just owned a smaller portion of this place. Oh, oh. The big house and a smaller portion. I don't know how many acres, maybe 300 acres of land. Right now, I'm um, caretaker around the house. Mm -hmm. Take care of the house, move it along, cut grass. That's all what they come from all about. And I was working when they had, a, when it was a plantation, or oh, the, the, the White House would have people come from New York, have people come from England, all about. Yeah. In D.C., uh, Newport, Rhode Island. See, Mr. Whitehouse was an ambassador over in the vault, and he had friends and things come from all about White House. Okay. Oh, that's his name, but who owned it? This planet okay. Sheldon Whitehouse. Sheldon Whitehouse. Yeah. Okay. Then it was an Earl of Cena. Okay. He was yeah. an ambassador? Yeah, he was an ambassador. And he lived in New, had a house in Newport, Rhode Island. And he had another thing he uh, in New, New York. He bought and built a house in 1935 and 36. He built a house over there. Now, this is a cone that was a built cone. Now, we didn't do that. What this cone growing in that cone? That's a duck cone where they plant that and they uh, flooded with water. And duck season come in, mm -hmm. put it on and they have ducks come out here and just sh shoot the ducks. Like it's 1950. And all out here, now all this out here graves. All graves all out in here. You see these little places up and down? Up and down, that's grave. People on top of one another on grave. There's so many people buried out here. They, uh, when, uh, when they have come out here, they was digging on top of one another. So many people, you know, buried out in, you know, in the digging grave. We used to have to come out here with a shovel and dig the grave. Long years ago, we had a little society called Paul Bear and had a special man for the, uh, for the, uh, grave committee. And he used to come out here and point me or several of us this time, several of us next time to go help dig the grave. Then we had to dig them six feet, measure it in the ground six feet. And at that time, they buried in a box. You had a box, the undertaker would bring a box. Back in them days, it was 10 cents a month. And when the paper died to get so much money, I don't forgot how much it was to help bury them. Didn't have a walk like this here. 
You come up in the dirt, you know, to round it off after you get to round it off. That's the reason they was digging on top of one another. Because the, the head they didn't have no marker. You know, this buried out in the ground. And after it sank down, they didn't know who was who. All out there, all the way down to see the only way that go around, the only way that grass go around. Oh, that was, oh, that's great. That's burial. That's yes, where sir. people were yes, buried? Sir. Yes, sir. All oh, that flat grass. Yes, burial all out there. Okay. See, another two people end up where you said the other house was. Mm -hmm. Gerald and I found some more pieces of plates and other stuff back down that way. Outside the area where people were buried and the church that's up here at the front, did you have anybody that had like a house or, or uh, houses out here once upon a time? Once upon a time with houses. One house right down, right down close over the house. The house down there. Mm -hmm. And several houses of, go ahead, up over in there. Several houses up in there. Yes, sir. Several houses around. This row of several houses back in there. Several houses back in there. Oh, but the church was right in here. And the front door was facing this way. Then yeah, look side over there. The rest house back over there. Another one back over there. There's a lake over called Buck Lake. We used to go over in that lake and get baptized. Sometime and after that, later on down through the years, you'd go down to a pond, what we made on Elder Standard Plantation, we made that pond, and we'd go down there and get baptized. Yeah. Our line was two together. Uh, we used to have church. First and third Sunday, the St. Philip. Third and fourth Sunday, they'd be at a modern line. Mm -hmm. Second Sunday and fourth Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it used to be St. Philip and and they together. Mm -hmm. But you know, these different societies mm -hmm. came and separated them. Yes, sir. And we just got St. Philip and I and modern line. Mm -hmm. Separate from St. Philip. So the road, I didn't cut it up so much now. Yes, sir. You can't even see it on the road. I don't, I can see the top of it. Can we cut it out here, you know? Yes, sir, I see it right there. Okay. Yeah, the houses was up in there. Uh, Gethers. The name Gethers. That name was Gethers. Yes, it sir. Stayed up there. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pecan trees that have been right out over there. Where the those pines are now? Yes, sir. Get them pines right now. The Rivers family is staying there. Yes, Moles, sir. Moles, Moles, Moles Who are some of the folks that you remember that are, are buried out in here? Oh, Adam Gather, uh, Willis Hammer, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wallace Hughes, wife, mm -hmm. was buried right there. Had a fish line, but it's two it down, you know, his wife. Uh, and, yeah, mm -hmm. Laura mm -hmm. Bridge over there. Mm -hmm. Billy Green, Howard. Woman Francis Washington was there. Mm -hmm. She was buried out there. And, uh, and I'm talking to someone who's a descendant or who remembers the mm -hmm. the community that was there that left the artifact behind. I really appreciate you taking your time to come out and talk to us about this. This is just incredible. Oh, what name of Louis George? I can't remember that name. Let me stop. To get some gas and gas up the car, truck and going on. Mm -hmm. And I wanted some water. And I saw a water fountain over there. Some water fountain in a little place station. Mm -hmm. And I've been in there and I got some water. I got some water out there. And the man was standing behind the town over there. And he made good till I got through drinking that water. And you know these little six ounce cocoa bottles? Mm -hmm. He took one of them bottles and talked to me. He said, nigga. Don't you ever let me see you put your mind on nothing back there. If you want some water, you get the ship. He had that bottle and he stuffed it down three or four times. Right? You get you this bottle and get you some water. He told me right back to my face. And if the me and the white fellow were together, I mean, if I thought the white folk would kind of protect me, you know. Mm -hmm. When he got down the road, he, he left and said, Yeah, you know, it was something else. And I said, mm -hmm. I didn't say a word. And what he told me,